Welcome to East and Central Africa Division. Home to over 3 million Seventh-day Adventists, this is the territory where the church is fired up for mission. From the beginning of this quinquennium, we have been busy doing various activities of mission, right from the local church coming up to the conferences and mission fields, the unions and the division itself. And a lot of things have been happening. Many people have been touched. And there has never been a stop of these activities from the beginning up to this time. Covering 11 countries in Eastern Central Africa, ECD, as is commonly referred to, has made considerable strides in her quest to reach out with the message of hope. Oh, I dare not walk alone. I will stumble on my own. Oh, my Lord, lead me on through the night, the night. Hold my hand, don't let me stray. The progress has undoubtedly been influenced by the ever-present desire by church members and leaders in ECD to always give their best for God's work. We realized that um, we have an opportunity to do the very best for our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We challenged ourselves not to walk, not to run, but to fly. Because flying uh, implies speed. So that whatever we do, we do it with a sense of urgency. And I think where we have reached, we can surely say that we are gaining altitude. Indeed, the altitude has been gained in many ways, perhaps the greatest propeller being women. In our department, uh, we are nurturing women, we are empowering them, and also we are helping them how to reach out the communities. So we, we have planned some activities as retreats, uh, conventions and congress and one of the most important event we had this year is the Butare a Congress, Women Congress. That is a division-wide congress. This is the congress that brought together over 2,000 women from all the 11 countries that make up ECD. Women came in big numbers and we had also an opportunity to have our leader, that is the First Lady, Her Excellency Janet Kagame, who came to open our Congress. It was very, very, very amazing to see how she was very happy to come and give us some words. We have seen that women are very important in the society. When you train a woman, you are sure that you have trained the whole nation. And in our cultures, a woman is like a heart beat of a human being. So she is very important. When you train her, when you equip her, when you nurture her, she is able to do something and change the society. So we were very happy and we thanked God because at the end of the convention or the Congress, women committed themselves to go back and change their lives from their families, their churches, their communities and institutions. And we hope that by doing that, we reached one of the important points in women. That the church in Eastern Central Africa Division is experiencing rapid growth is common knowledge. Until this month, East Central Africa Division did not have a single 
Union Conference. But I'm sure you are all aware that uh, Kenya is now divided into two Union Conferences. East Kenya Union Conference with the headquarters in Nairobi. They will keep the old office, Union office. West Kenya Union Conference with the headquarters in Kisumu. It has not been common for a union mission to be divided into two union conferences at a go. We consider that a special blessing from God. Tanzania Union is now realigned into two unions, one North Tanzania Union Conference with the headquarters in Arusha and the South Tanzania Union Mission with the headquarters in Dar es Salaam. The church has not only experienced spiritual growth but physical as well, which has led to the improved infrastructure right from the local churches all the way to the division offices. We have been so impressed by the things that the Lord has been able to do in all sectors of mission, beginning from image change, which has seen many, many of our faces of the division, beginning with the construction of local churches, building of conference offices, improving the infrastructure of union offices, even right here, the division itself, a lot of phase change has taken place. I didn't believe, even when we started with this uh, challenge, that um, a union leadership could actually dream of building a, a union office with nine floors. But, but now it is a reality. You go to Kigali, Rwanda. Rwanda Union is completing a union building with the nine floors. We say, praise be to God. You go to Tanzania, in, in, in Mwanza, you have a hospital which people can't believe that Adventists could build. All that is image change. The image of the church in this division is changing. You go to Uganda, we have uh, centers of influence. Uh, you have Bunga uh, in Kampala. You have um, uh, Better Living Center, Center of Influence, as they call it, in Kasese, Western. Uh, things are happening to show that indeed God is blessing East Central Africa Division, in line with um, the slogan that we came up with at the beginning destined to fly. The youth are the right arm of evangelism work. And rightly so. Young people in Eastern Central Africa have on many occasions demonstrated their commitment to God's work by participating in acts of kindness. This year, something very unique happened for the first time in the history of youth ministry. This was Global Youth Day. It was on 16th of March, where all young people in the world united together to do actions of mercy to the community. And our young people in our division took their roles in different places they went out to donate blood, to feed street children, and that awakened the interest for people to learn more about our faith. We got a lot of responses uh, from people uh, calling us, wishing to know more about the church and to learn more about our faith. Um, and we, we counted that as one of very powerful means of reaching out and it had a very, very big impact. Uh, during that event, we connected the 
distribution of Great Hope. Uh, thousands and thousands of copies were distributed. The Great Hope project is a project that came to the world field from the General Conference. It is one project that gave a lot of excitement and inspiration to the members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in East Central Af Africa Division. We were given a goal of 10 million uh, Great Hope copies to distribute throughout our territory. And we did not confine ourselves to only that number, but we told ourselves that with the help of God, every member in this division, and this division has a membership of about 3 million people, we told ourselves that each one of us will give, in, this, in these two years, this project will be running four copies of The Great Hope. And, and, and so far as I'm talking, we have distributed over four million, and we have also been told that over four million downloads have been made of The Great Hope book in our territory totaling to about 8 million copies or let me say material that contains that content. Now we are all excited because we are going to continue with this project. We have not yet winded it up. There are still uh, shipments that are on their way coming and after this the commitments which the unions and the institutions have made will still be perpetuated until we are sure that we have arrived at our goal or even surpassed it. Global Youth Day mobilized the youth on the streets of our villages, towns and cities around the division to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ through acts of kindness. <laughs> And in many other ways, the youth in ECD continue to evangelize. We have witnessed the running of concerts, music concerts, music conferences, choirs coming together, and a big number of uh, non-Adventists coming to attend, uh, enjoying the music, but through the songs, which are very well sung, they learn more and more about the love of Jesus. And the, the bigger number of these choir members are young people. In Eastern Central Africa Division, technology has been greatly used in taking the message of Christ to the people. This has proven to be a fast and cost-effective way of reaching out. One of the things that we normally do here in East Central Africa Division is holding satellite events. So far, for the two quinquiniums that we have, we have held four of them. The results were great and very, very convincing. We discovered that many people enjoy the satellite events. And actually, when we compare the conventional or traditional way of evangelism, we discover that when we do one satellite event, covers almost three, four times of what is done traditionally. For that reason, we have prepared ourselves and we are very much interested in making sure that all our churches in this division have satellite downlink stations. That means a satellite dish with the gadgets that will help them connect to the uh, Hope Channel television to receive the satellite events whenever we hold them. Radio ministry in particular has been of great benefit in reaching areas that pastors and other lay people would otherwise find it impossible to reach. Because we believe very much in technology in this division, we have a network of radio stations. As I speak to you now, we have almost 26 FM stations covering the entire East Central African Division. We thank God that uh, this technology has made us reach the unreachable. When you have radio, you reach everyone. We are convinced that God has a plan for the technology so that we can use it to His glory, but also to accomplish the mission that He has given to us as His people in this world. 
Uh, we believe that the Lord has blessed our work also in South Sudan. God has blessed us in many ways and in many parts of, the, of this division and we, we thank him. And I want to believe that each one of us has found more inspiration, more energy to continue with our mission as we continue to do the work that the Lord has given to us in East Central Africa Division. And I also want to believe that our unions, our conferences and our missions, our local churches and all of us individual members have found strength in viewing the acts of God for the last few years. May the Lord bless you as you go back to your territories to be able to catch more fire so that we can all truly keep true to our theme for this quinquennium and that is destined to fly and image change.